Training camp is finally here. Players report to the team's practice facility, meet with coaches, teammates, hold meetings, and even do some strength and conditioning. With Philadelphia Eagles signed USFL MVP Deion Kane, a journeyman that finds his way back to the Philadelphia Eagles after nearly making a team last year. And Kali Ringo may be the dark horse candidate to win the starting safety spot despite being drafted as a cornerback. And last but not least, Hassan Reddick sends a powerful message to the NFL regarding the utter disrespect. I am Weapon X. This is the voice of the Eagles show. And like always, God bless those Philadelphia Eagles. Play the intro. You too. <laughs> First day of school. Y'all are back. I'm Reggie, my team dog. I miss my dog. I just wanted to take him for a walk. Sit. Shake. Oh. Ah. Look at those gill guys. They come out dressed up and all that. What's up, fellas? That time again. Is this something you've seen that you guys don't like? Is this something that we're wearing? That's crazy. Gotta say, I want the track Everybody's kind of big up. I ain't already went out. You're 11. Hello there. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. First day of school. Hey guys, the behind the scenes shoot. I don't know what else to do here, but uh, I'll see you guys later. I had to tone it down uh, these last two weeks and just focus on conditioning uh, and, and tell myself that uh, it's a long camp, it's a long season, and uh, you know I'm prepared and not not try to over prepare. You know I try to do too much right before camp. So you know I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited. You know uh, to do it again. Philadelphia Eagles signed USFL receiver Dion Kane. Dion Kane played for the Philadelphia Eagles during the preseason last year in which he showed unbelievable traits. He goes up and gets the ball. He has great hands. He has great body control, and he knows how to maneuver once he gets in the air. And at times, he can exhibit some breakaway speed. Here's his highlights.
Now the corner is one on one in man coverage in this situation. Khalid Ringo, a fourth round draft pick out of Georgia, standing at 6'2", 207 pounds, runs a crazy 4'3". With that height, length, ability to change directions, the hip fluidity, this guy translates perfectly to a safety. Here's what he had to say regarding possibly changing positions. I kind of bring up that uh, you might have a really good future at possibly safety. What would you th what would you think about possibly moving positions if need be if the team requires it? I have no problem with that, honestly. But um, I definitely would say I want, I want my fair share, my fair shot at corner to begin with, man. But um, I, I feel like your availability is, is your valuability, man. So just just some more things you're able to do on the field, the more that you can contribute can, can definitely help you build it, um, have a higher value. So. He earned SEC All Freshman Team blend of size and athleticism. He's uniquely suited to travel across the field and match talents against some of these bigger targets in the NFL. He can press and he does a nice job of controlling players in front of him from off coverages. He has a shot at winning the position. Check out how he moves. Despite leading the NFL in sacks with 19 and a half, Hassan Reddick still doesn't get the respect he deserves. He finally addressed the disrespect and how haters use idiotic talking points to discredit his stellar year. Watch. You know the cards, the niggas want to play chess now. <laughs> you trying to sit here and say that sacks ain't the most important thing. Is your fucking stupid? Talk about stopping the run game. I stopped the run. Niggas don't run on my side, man. And that's the fuck. Hassan Reddick lead the NFL in sacks with 19 and a half, 16 sacks in a regular season and three and a half sacks in the playoffs. Hassan Reddick also became the first player since the sack became a statistic in 1982 to have double digit sacks in three straight seasons with three different teams. Hassan Reddick was arguably one of, if not the best pass rusher in the NFL. His presence alone is enough to have opposing teams up all night trying to figure out how to block this guy. I am Weapon X. This is the Voice of the Eagles podcast. And like always, God bless those Philadelphia Eagles. Can y'all feel that?
Can you feel what's about to happen on this field, man? Can you feel what we about to get into? They don't respect us! They don't know what our heart, man! That thing is beating your doggone chest right now. Whatever you got today, I got to have it.